Welcome back everyone to another episode and as you saw in the picture I got the coolest little tow truck ever. I think it's the coolest Toyota ever made. <laughs> Toyota didn't really build it though. They built the front half of it. Somebody built the back half and I think Toyota should have made that from the beginning. So let me flip this camera around and show you guys around. So this is it guys. This is my new to me 1991 Toyota pickup one ton dually that started life off as a Toyota motorhome which I'm sure most of you have seen one or if you're watching this video you've had one <laughs> it's amazing what someone has done to it they've taken the motorhome off the back and built they built it into a tow truck I had this idea for years and I never got to do it because I never got the chance to pick up a the, the true one ton dually Toyota chassis and someone I found on Facebook marketplace already did it and they were selling it so I immediately jumped in my car scrounged up the cash and went from Tennessee to Virginia which is just you know the next state over but I went to another state to pick up this and I'll give you the backstory on it the truck it belonged to a guy named Jeff and Jeff was a retired cop so I'm calling the, the whole truck I'm just gonna call it Jeff <laughs> this is Jeff the tow truck and Jeff and his elderly father I don't know I don't think they built the truck they got it from someone else and they used it to put his, I guess the elderly father had a little rat rod they put on the back there and they'd go to like cars and coffee and stuff like that and they also worked on people's riding mowers and small engines and stuff like that so they would pick up like go to people's homes and pick up their riding mower on the back of this thing because it's that small and the, the father passed away and the son sold the father's rat rod he didn't want any of the stuff around anymore he, he couldn't look at it so he put this up for a sale. I came running, <laughs> of course, freaking Toyota nut I am. Cause I could, I mean, I got it. The reason I picked it up was my 86 Corolla hatchback. I needed a, I've got the Tundra and I was gonna get a trailer for it, but I saw this and went, oh my God, I've always wanted one of those. And that's what I wanted to build it into. So I was like, that will fit my Corolla perfectly. I was like, I don't have to go to, if I want to go to a track, I don't have to drive the Corolla or get a trailer in my Tundra. I could just stick the Corolla on the back of the truck and just drive the truck there. It's freaking awesome. So even if I take my Corolla to a track, break it, I could just load it back up and just drive home, no problem. But let me give you guys a little tour of the truck. I'm going to start at the front and work my way back. So we're going to start at the hood, open the hood up, and take a look. So here is the front of the truck, hood's open. So this has, those motorhomes had a three liter V6 or they had a four cylinder. This one has the three liter V6 and it is, it's in great shape. Like really good shape. The guy who had it, like he got it from a guy who took care of it. It was a motorhome. So usually people that had those motorhomes, it took care of them really well. It does have around 213,000 miles, but it's all stock. The coolant inside, the radiator is beautiful, green, oil's like fresh, everything, I mean, everything's been serviced and taken care of, which I'm not used to. <laughs> so it's, it's something very weird to see. I'm used to seeing these Toyota pickups just completely thrashed and torn up, and this one's not. So we're gonna skip over. Here's the interior. Door panels are, they're not the, they're not the best. They're in decent shape, but it does have some, uh, some screws, someone just screwed into there. And then I don't know what the hell that is. So I might just replace the door panels. And there is some sketchy, I've had the truck for a few months. So I haven't had a lot to, you know, a chance to work on it that much. I've been doing a bunch of other stuff, but there's some wiring that goes across here. That I don't know what's up with that. The seat is, it's a, 
yeah it's a bench seat that's all we're gonna say about that besides it being disgusting um, like I said before the truck does have about 213,000 miles runs great uh, I don't I don't know what that is I haven't tried to see if it has 12 volt I guess it was for like a CB radio when this thing was a uh, RV AC does not work. The guy I got it from said it does if I charge it. So it's got a leak. And the radio worked when I got it. But, uh, funny story about that thing. It, what you want to call it, uh, got it home about a week later, drove it, brought it back home, parked it, shut it off, radio wouldn't turn off. Turned the truck back on, radio stayed on. Turned it back off, radio stayed on still. So I freaked out. And I knew something had shorted, so I went under the hood and pulled the radio fuse, and now I have no radio. Uh, <laughs> so that's that's something I'll have to address later. Glove box, the speaker covers are screwed in. Yeah. And the center section here, it's... So you hear that when you hit bumps on the interstate. This is all going to have to be... It's not dirt, it's just faded. So there's a lot of stuff that just needs to be... Let me squeeze out of this thing. There's a lot of stuff that just needs to be cleaned and repaired and repainted. I think I could bring it back, you know, a lot better than it is. Oh, the, the funniest thing ever. Windshield. So, windshield, uh... Windshield's not in there's little tiny rust spots which i'm gonna have to grind and clean up but something the guy i got it from told me which i was freaking hilarious when i realized it was just a windshield he told me as i go around this side what he told me was the uh under here he said when i got the truck he's like oh yeah he's like i'm selling it because the heater core is also leaking and he said there would be water in here all the time. And he thought it was a heater core. Well, the minute he showed me the windshield was leaking, which it is filthy. The windshield had been leaking. I figured, I was like, oh, well, there's your problem. It's, it's leaking onto the floor. So the windshield, every time it rained, there was water on the floor. And he thought it was a heater core. That's fine by me. So as we move to the back, it's got a little tool chest. And in the little tool chest, I just have some toe straps and stuff like that. And it is, the toolbox is bolted to the bed. It's got a 4,500 pound winch, which currently doesn't work. Why it doesn't work is because, let me walk around and I will show you some more of the sketchiness that this guy or somebody did it wasn't me hopefully i'll be fixing the uh sketchiness so here is the remote for the winch and it's all just sitting out here in the weather on the back of the bed so the guy told me that this battery is wired up to the front battery so when the truck's running it charges both batteries that was a lie I used the winch maybe twice and the battery would it just was dead so yeah <laughs> and then uh came with six brand new tires when I got it from the guy he had just put new tires on it maybe a hundred miles ago so it had six brand new tires so that was good for me lighting the lighting on the back of the truck needs to be redone but it's it's in good shape the roof is not it's got this weird when I got the truck the whole truck was covered in this weird he was trying to make it like a rat rod and I don't know what he was going after is it's like a weird texture almost like a sticker but I can't get it off very well it was all over the whole truck so that's that's another issue and let me uh oh, 
let's jump off the truck here. Sorry about the uh, swiveling around here. Yeah. So that is Jeff, the tow truck. So that's Jeff, the tow truck, uh, as I was just saying. <laughs> and I just, I'm sure there's so much stuff I'm forgetting to put in here. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything, do you think I got like, a very cool deal on something that I mean I've only seen I've looked online I have not seen another flatbed just like this so I think it's literally the only flatbed Toyota one ton that in the world basically like that I've seen uh, some people do something similar but not really like this so I think I got something very cool unique and hopefully I can make it even better if you have any questions just Put them in the comments and if you're not a subscriber to the channel and you've listened to me ramble on welcome this is how it is every time <laughs> well not every time sometimes i do cool stuff but i just wanted to introduce the truck and this truck will be around for a very long time because i don't think i'll be getting rid of this thing anytime soon if ever because that is just the most unique thing i've ever seen and yeah welcome to the channel I've hit over a thousand subscribers recently and I'm super excited about that. I know it's small to some people, but to some other people, it's, that's a huge accomplishment. For me, it's big. Thank you for subscribing. Stick around. I ramble a lot, but that's fine. So welcome Jeff to the channel and thank you for watching. I will see you next time, hopefully in a few days. Bye.